Welcome again to the Watchman Radio Program. I am a host, Minister Curtis Roach from Shiloh Revival Tamanaka. And uh, again, uh, another week, another day before you uh, to warn you, to let you know that the coming of the Lord is imminent. It is right around the corner. This program is all about telling you uh, what the Lord wants you to hear today. So I'm here to bring you this program. It's all about the end times and of course it is to open your awareness to the times that we are living in and to make you aware of the nearness of the imminent and soon coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to rapture his bride and he is indeed coming very soon. Uh, but this program today I just want to make a little uh, a, a little turn for a very very good reason uh in the direction of reading a prophecy that was laid against the united kingdom that's right the lord has spoken through his prophet to one of his prophet and he does speak to his prophet in these days in case you're wondering and he spoke through his prophet against the United Kingdom. The sins of this country has gone up before the throne of heaven. And the Lord is not happy about it. And he has sent a prophecy against the land. It is a very serious warning and a very serious prophecy of judgment that the Lord has decreed and declared against the United Kingdom. The whole of the United Kingdom, no one is exempted. No one will get away from the wrath of God. And I want to read this prophecy to you today. I, what I have before me is quite a few pages of a document to read to you. But I want to take my time and go through it very carefully so that you will hear everything what the lord is saying i want to be very clear today and i want you to listen very keenly again you have time to call somebody else to listen especially if you are listening from the united kingdom anywhere in the united kingdom if you are listening you know uh, about a few people who should hear of this prophecy especially if they are in authority in the country and this is very important for them to get hand on this prophecy if you are listening uh, you could record it or uh, you could find this uh, prophecy also on YouTube I will be putting this uh, radio program up with the prophecy uh, just to let you know also I do also have a video message up already up on YouTube with this prophecy and I just wanted to bring it live on the air today as well so anyone in england scotland wales and northern ireland if you are listening to this program today i want you to take heed listen very carefully to what the lord is saying as i said this prophecy was given to uh, a prophet johnson akimplenwa and he is the man of God from the Voice of Prophecy International Outreach. And uh, to let you know more that this prophecy was also uh, authenticated by a man of God by the name of Apostle Alfred Williams, a man of God that I know very well for myself. He is tried and tested and proven to be a true apostle of God who has visited the Lord who hears from the Lord and he himself has confirmed that the Lord has spoken similar words to him this very thing that the Lord has declared he has also revealed it to the Apostle Alfred Williams so it is confirmation of what the Lord has decreed and uh, it is confirmation that of the fact that the Lord has indeed spoken so without further ado I'm going to read the prophecy 
and uh, within this prophecy there are a numerous amount of scriptures in between it I will not be reading the scriptures I will be putting them up on your screen when I upload this to YouTube but what I will do I will make mention of the scriptures exactly where they come in and I'll try my best to read the entire prophecy uh, with a flow so that you will get the meaning of it so you'll get the gist of it so that you will get the understanding of it and you will be in uh, the flow of it so to speak at the top of this prophecy the scripture that comes with it is Proverbs 16 18 which says pride goes before destruction that's the only one I'll read out for you pride goes before destruction Proverbs 16 18 and uh, listen clearly now to what the Lord has decreed and declared and has, has said concerning our country the United Kingdom it reads unto you my servant is given to understand the mystery of the kingdom of heaven this is also to acquaint you with the event that shall happen shortly in this nation Amos chapter 3 verse 7 this word of prophecy is given to you my servant to be published that the people may hear give this prophecy its widest publicity across the land Psalm 68 11 and Deuteronomy 29 verse 29 I am God the creator of heaven and the earth I am sovereign in my authority and power and I rule in the affairs of men across every nation of the world Psalms 103 1 9 as I spoke through prophets in the days of old in the same way I do speak today therefore as you have received from me so shall you declare my counsel and my judgment which shall come shortly as a result of her pride I have spoken in my word that pride goes before destruction speak and do not hold back this word of prophecy declare the message as in the day of Jonah Jonah 3 1 to 4 make it clear that this nation has downgraded and desecrated my holy word through unrighteous legislations this nation has kicked against her maker and the essence of her existence acts 9 1 to 5 through the homosexual equality law and the redefinition of marriage this nation has publicly and globally projected me as a liar and my holy word as untrue and subject to error numbers 23 19 make it clear to the nations across the world and especially to the united kingdom that my holy word the bible is impregnable it has no margin for error and is not subject to human redefinition political debate or amendment genesis 2 18 21 to 25 for I am the author of words and the integrity of my holy word as written in the Holy Bible cannot be compromised or challenged by man who is the handwork of my hands. It is impossible for the clay to challenge the potter. Isaiah 45 9 This nation has challenged me and my holy words through the legislations on the redefinition of marriage let it be understood that my word will outlast institutions dispensations thrones and any form of government operated by man as i am an eternal god so is my word psalms 119 89 when i established the institution of marriage in my wisdom at the beginning of creation i created it as the landmark with eternal purpose which will transcend generations of humanity 
But Satan, the adversary of my kingdom, was aware of this. Having lost his position in heaven and replaced by man, who is the image and the physical expression of my personality. Genesis 1, 26-28 And it is on this basis that in every generation and in every dispensation of human government, he has tried and is still trying up till now to tamper and destroy this landmark institution. Thus says the Lord, in human history, there have never been a time when the adversary of my kingdom tried to remove this landmark through human activities or human government that I never responded with anger and wrath, wheeling my sword of judgment. Therefore, since this nation has chosen to remove and redefine my holy words through legislations, I will not fail to respond to execute my judgment across the length and breadth of the entire nation. Proverbs 22:28, Deuteronomy 27, 17, and Proverbs 23, 10. Thus says the Lord unto you, my servant, proclaim and make the content of this prophecy clear to this nation and the authority in particular that because she has chosen to redefine this holy landmark through legislation i will not fail to respond to execute judgment against her for this act of iniquity and i will put the nation under a curse for certain seasons the whole nation will experience the wielding of my sword of judgment with consequences for unprecedented national mourning and distress affecting every sector and institution across the length and breadth of the entire nation. Deuteronomy 27, 17, 2 Kings 21, 10 to 12. This impending phenomenon will defy political solutions and this will put all political parties in total disarray, says the Lord. For I will judge her of the sin of pride and rebellion against me and the integrity of my holy word. This shall be a judgment of sacrilege upon the nation and the political authority shall be held accountable. During this period, the entire security of the nation will be threatened on all sides, beyond the expectations, the kind of which is rare in the history due to the attacks of different fronts or on different fronts. Some of the consequences will include premature and sudden deaths of prominent individuals and political figures. The nation will experience a relapse into prolonged economic recession and indebtedness of which no political party will have credible solutions to address. 1 Samuel 3.10-13 Jeremiah 19, 1 to 3. Also, my church in the land has betrayed the trust I repose on them because of their compromise and failure to wholeheartedly stand by my side to defend my church. My church being the trustees and the custodians of my holy book, the Bible. These facts are also entrenched in the coronation oath sworn to by Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. Jeremiah 2.8 Therefore, for the above reason, says the Lord, I, the Lord, will visit my church globally and especially in the UK to rebuke, to chastise, to correct, and to call to order. This I will do to my church that I may expose and judge the hirelings and the children of Belial who have infiltrated my church with deceptions 
and strange doctrines as in the days of Eli. First Samuel two twelve, first Samuel two twenty seven to thirty one. For the above reasons I summon my churches in the entire length and breadth of the United Kingdom, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland to earmark time for unceasing national prayer of repentance, mercy, and healing for the nation as from now till July 2015, so that I, the Supreme God, may reduce the magnitude of the coming national disasters and distress across the land. If my church in the land fail in their duty to respond to this call, shortly the whole nation will be inundated with crises that may lead to the postponement or cancellation of the coming national elections currently scheduled for May 2015. I am a merciful God. And I show mercy unto those who hearken to my word and repent from their evil ways. I showed my kindness and my mercy to Nineveh because the nation responded to my warning through wholehearted repentance. Jonah 3, 1-10 to Second Chronicles seven, fifteen. I am God whose authority and power can't be challenged. The eternal God, the merciful, creator of heaven and earth, says the Lord of hosts. That is the word of prophecy that came down from heaven against this country, the United Kingdom. I encourage every Christian, every believer who listened to this prophecy just now or if you are reading it on YouTube for the first time to respond urgently through prayer of repentance to avert the looming anger that God has over this nation now. No, I just want to make something very pollusively clear. That the Lord, he has said quite clearly that he will not relent from his judgment. However, our prayers can lessen the judgment that he has declared, that he has decreed on us. For the sins that we as a nation have committed against the Holy God. It is quite clear. It is not hidden. It is right out in the open. What we have done. The things that we have done contrary to the living and the true word of the living God. What is the sin that we have committed? The Lord has said in this prophecy that we have downgraded and desecrated his holy word through our unrighteous legislations. By doing that, it's like you are kicking God. You're kicking the one who made you. You're kicking the one who put you in that position. You're making a mockery out of him. And you expect to get away with it. The Lord has said that this has never happened before where he has not wielded his sword. And he has promised that just like of all just like in the past in the same way he will be wielding his sword but he has also promised 
that if we should humble ourselves and pray that he will hear from heaven and he will lessen the judgment that he has declared against us again the Lord has said that his word is impregnable in other words we cannot change it we cannot break into it we cannot alter it in any way we cannot redefine it in any way for any reason no one here in this world no one here in this very universe has the authority to change anything that is written in the word of God the word of God is sure it is final it is unchangeable it is undebatable what is written was written and cannot be changed it was written by God it is the living word a word that was in existence before the creation of the world and it will outlast this world the word of God if anyone dares to tamper with it they are asking for serious trouble just like we are seeing here right now where the United Kingdom has gone against the word of God by changing its legislations to go against what is written by redefining marriage uh, allowing same-sex marriage and by redefining the laws to make homosexuality legal things like that when the Bible clearly speaks against these things by doing this you have committed a great act of iniquity against God and God has seen what we're doing have seen what you're doing United Kingdom and he will not tolerate it any longer judgment is coming United Kingdom the judgment of God is coming to you is coming down to us let us pray let us pray let us ask God for mercy on this land we know for a fact that he will not relent on the judgment that he has decreed but if we unite in prayer just like the city of Nineveh did if we all would come together as the Lord has instructed and pray and repent for our sins and ask forgiveness then he will lessen the wrath that he will be pouring out on this country let us pray people this is a very serious one and this is a very serious program that I'm bringing to you these words are true these words are sure the Lord he will not fail to respond to execute his judgment and he says across the entire length and breadth of this nation that means no one is going to get away he has decreed and declared that he will put this nation under a curse for certain seasons we will experience the wielding of his sword and the consequences of unprecedented national mourning and distress and it says it will affect every sector and every institution everyone will be getting their dose no one will be exempted this impending phenomenon it will defy political solutions goes on to say that some of the things that will happen we will see with our own eyes premature and sudden deaths of 
prominent individuals and political figures, people, are going to die. People that you see stand before you making these laws, enforcing those laws, they will die without reason as the Lord will be wielding his judgment. The nation will experience a relapse into prolonged economic recession and indebtedness of which the Lord has, has decreed that no political party will be credible or will have any credible solution to address it. As I said before, these words are sure. This will happen. And in the very near future, the Lord has spoken and his word will not return to him void. His word will not return to him not accomplishing what he sent it forth to accomplish. Now listen carefully. We have to pray. We have to repent. We have to acknowledge who God is. We have to acknowledge his word. He himself has declared and decreed that his word he esteems even higher than his own name. So when we tamper with the word of God, it is a very grievous sin. It is a very serious thing. We, the United Kingdom, we have done that. And we have to pay for that sin. But again, this is a call out to the United Kingdom. All of the United Kingdom to unite in prayer to unite in prayer of repentance asking the Lord to have mercy on us asking the Lord to have mercy have mercy on us you are listening to the watchman Now, as I said before, God has already spoken. And what he has said, we cannot turn a blind eye. We cannot turn a deaf ear. Because once the Lord has uttered his words, they will execute what they were sent to execute what I've read to you today is a prophecy that the Lord has given through his prophet against the United Kingdom for the sins that has gone up before the throne of God before his throne in heaven Sins that he is no longer willing to tolerate. We have sinned against him. We have changed and altered the true meaning of his word. We have altered what he has created. We have desecrated his holy word. And for that, we have to pay this prophecy I am not sure if the authorities were contacted concerning this or if any attempt has been made to bring this to their attention although they might just reject any word of it we do not know but we must try anyway so I'm uh, calling out to you who are listening if you are in the UK if you have any contacts even with the media 
or with any political source anyone in high places where you can reach and get this message out and up there that you will get this message and take it there at the end of this program and if you're watching by YouTube on the screen you will see where you can contact me if you'd like me to send you or email a copy of this prophecy I want us to spread this around to as many people as possible to share it to as many persons as possible they won't sit down on it it is not a prophecy for 10 years to come or 20 years to come or even 5 years to come the Lord has decreed that in even less than a year that these things will come to pass these things will come to pass so all of you out there again I'm imploring you and even pleading with you to spread this word spread the words of this prophecy to every single person in this nation to every single person in the United Kingdom and I just want to take this opportunity to quickly reach out to any one of you out there who may be listening and even through the words of this prophecy you have been convicted in some way and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today to make your calling and election sure I want to let you know that you, if you should hear the voice of the Lord speaking to you speaking to your heart that you listen and take heed do not harden your heart do not turn a deaf ear but you take heed why because time is extremely short the Lord can make an appearance at any time who knows maybe this judgment is decreed for those that are left behind perhaps the rapture is to happen before the start of these judgments we do not know but what I'm saying to you today don't think because the Lord has decreed that next year before a certain time that we should do this and do that that he will not come or the rapture cannot happen before them don't be fooled by that and don't think that that is the case because it is not the fact still remains that the rapture of the bride of Christ can happen at any moment even at this very moment in this very day it can happen there's nothing to stop it which clearly means that if you are not ready if you're not saved if you are not fully surrendered to God if you are not living a righteous life pursuing righteousness and holiness if you are a lukewarm Christian you will not be ready should the Lord make his appearance at a time at an hour at a day that you least expect 
and very clearly the word of God did warn us that it will happen just like that in a day and hour that you least expect it to happen it will happen then is when it will happen so you cannot predict it but gladly according to the signs and what Jesus has said in his book we know the season of his coming and I want to announce to you one more time that we are in that season right now we are in that season now we are the last generation signs of the times are anywhere it is undoubtable that we are indeed in the last season so the time to be ready is now the time to repent is now the time to accept the Lord as a savior to ask him to come into your heart to rule your life is now it is now or never you may not have another chance after today in fact you may not have another chance after listening to this program after i sign off today you don't know what can happen to you you can die you can be in the wrong place at the wrong time some one driving down the road decides to fire a shot and that stray bullet come and hit you wherever you are in your house in your bedroom in your bathroom you don't know what can happen you can go down the road and get into a serious car accident and there end your life you do not know when your appointment with death is so when you hear or when you receive chances like this like what I am giving to you right now you should at all costs take them take advantage of the fact that the Lord has spoken to you through someone and have asked you to repent to come to him with all of your baggages with all of your sins and lay them at his feet and ask him to forgive you of them knowing that he has promised that once you just submit to him and ask him that he will honor your request he will take those sins away all and every sin every bit of it no matter what kind of sin it is and throw them away in the sea of forgetfulness as far as the east is from the west he says he will for throw them away he will forget them that is a wonderful promise that is a great promise so that means you out there doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter what you have done you can receive salvation right now today and I want to give you that opportunity just before I leave so I'm going to say a prayer of repentance and I just want you wherever you are to repeat it after me right now say Lord Jesus son of the true and living God you said in your word that if I confess my sins that you will forgive me of them I know that I am a sinner please forgive me of all of my sins and cleanse me from all my unrighteousness wash me clean with your blood and fill me with your Holy Spirit please let my name be written in the book of life as of this very moment as you come into my heart thank you Jesus for answering my prayer and thank you for saving me amen hallelujah if you have if you have a step forward if you have come forward and you have accepted the call today and you have 
repented of your sin and asked Jesus to come into your life I want to let you know right now that you are now saved that you have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit of God has just moved in inside of you to help you to lead you to guide you to teach you in everything hold on tightly to what you have just received and never let it go again this program was all about a prophecy that we have read a prophecy that the Lord has sent through his prophet against the United Kingdom a prophecy that is sure a prophecy that is sure so I would encourage you one more time to go over this prophecy listen it again and share it to as much persons as, prof as possible So the time has come where I have to leave you now. A very serious program. A very serious prophecy. A very serious time in this nation. We are calling for prayer and repentance nationally. Prayer and repentance. So that God will lessen the judgment that he has decreed and decreed, declared on the United Kingdom. I want to thank you for listening. This is the Watchman Radio Program. Come. You're listening to Everlasting Life Radio, broadcasting from London, England. I was your host, Minister Curtis Roach from Shiloh Revival Tabernacle. Take me home. And I just want to quickly extend an invitation to those of you out there. If you are in London or planning a trip to London at any time, if you'd like to find a church to worship where you will get the unadulterated word of God, word that will prepare you in these times that you can visit us you can find us at park view school at, on a west green road in london the postcode there is n15 3 qr you can find us there from 12 p.m to 3 p.m every sunday if you'd like to contact me for any further information you can find me on facebook by searching for Minister Curtis Roach. That's Minister Curtis Roach. My name is spelled C-U-R-T-I-S-R-O-A-C-H. Search for me there, leave me a message, and I will respond to you as quickly as possible. Uh, we also have a page for this program under the name The Watchman Radio Program. There on Facebook as well, The Watchman Radio Program. As I said, this program will be uploaded to YouTube along with all the other programs. And you can find it there under my channel, which is under my name, Curtis Roach. That's Curtis Roach, my YouTube channel. Go to it, uh, find it there, subscribe to it, so that you will be able to receive all the notifications of all the end-time programs that I've posted there. Other information will be on your screen. Please read them. Uh, please support them, please share them, uh, get the word out to as much persons as possible.